was fucking beautiful. Jillian, Nathan, I am Mackie! Yeah! <laughs> you fucking killed it! And you killed it, you vegetarian frauds! You fucking killed it. <laughs> you know, uh, last year I was at the Edmonton Poetry Festival and I was sitting there and all the people were talking about their poems. I'm blah, 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 like Charlie Brown's teacher. Wah, wah, wah. I said, hey! This guy got up. Where the fuck is he? Right here. Holy fuck, I can't even see him. This guy at the bar right now. He stood up. He said, hey, I have a poem to read. He reached into his pocket. He pulled out a full beer. <laughs> no, I, I had a poem to read. He reached into another pocket. Pulled out another beer. <laughs> said, fuck, buddy, I got a poem to read. Reached into his back pocket. Pulled out his flask. Aaron Marco! Get down here, motherfucker! This guy! It's a little teeny tiny cup of coffee. <laughs> Makes me look like a giant. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, how are you all doing tonight? Yeah! I, said, I can't hear you. Yeah! No, I, I seriously can't hear you. I have, uh, I've, I've suffered from hearing damage. <laughs> See, that's a joke. You're gonna be in for some jokes and some bad poems. <laughs> that's, that's my shtick. <laughs> so, uh, how's it, uh, oh, I already asked you how you're doing tonight. So, uh, I want to talk for a minute about one thing. Uh, have you got, are you guys familiar with this rib stain camo? No? Am I the only one familiar with this rib stain camo? Okay, so, Boston Pizza has essentially pre-stained shirts. <laughs> so, like, you can wipe your hands off. You can wipe your filthy hands off <laughs> on yourself while you're eating your ribs. <laughs> because, you know, fuck eating like an adult. <laughs> fuck eating with some fucking manners, you know? I don't want to be known as a grown-up. I just, I want to wear the napkin. <laughs> you know, I just, I just, I just want to wipe my hands off on myself and be a filthy, disgusting animal. <laughs> Oh, sorry, that's my phone. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, I've been obsessed with this rib stain camo for like a week, and everyone's like, shut up about the rib stain camo. It's like just a marketing ploy. I'm like, you know, I don't care. I don't care. It's disgusting. It's awful. It's the most horrendous fucking thing I've ever seen. And I've seen a man fuck his Xbox. Seriously. <laughs> I'll show you the video later. So this is a poem I wrote for, he's got his beard, he's dead. Oh, you know, uh, fuck, I don't know what his name is. Uh, boo. He's a beatnik. I know, I'm so embarrassed. Why am I allowed in public? It's called Kingdom of Ash, New Jersey. Face of ass, beatnik scum, fiduciarian. I'm with you in Rockland. I'm with you in die tribes. I'm with you in one room apartments with ashtrays overflowing and rats and rats and rats and roaches. Some paper took us there through fictions and you cock. Admired by some, your thesaurus knows the root through libertarian kingdoms. The indisputable truth, thusly was not rock and roll genius, the juggernaut of vowels outward pounding, too late for some 50 years the moss bathed in flame, the always open mouth wanting for revolution, beneath the anuses of God who feeds on the television dinners, but now I'm bourgeois, 
The beauty of death is not beauty. The diseased orchid spits petals. The ordinary is ordinary. I'm with you in Rockland. I'm with you in ugliness. I'm with you in satire. And I'm beating the gods. So this one is a poem. Uh, it's a true story. It's called, I sold someone a butt plug on Jesus Christ Day. <laughs> I sold someone a butt plug on Jesus Christ Day. Yeah, that's right. Because I used to work at a porn store. Yeah. Dildo slinger for hire. Have cock will travel. He came in. He had long nails. He said, I'll take the one that's eighteen ninety nine. It was twenty one eighty four with taxes. He gave me twenty five dollars, leaving him with three sixteen and change. <laughs> Get it? 316? For God so loved the earth that he would come back and put a butt plug in his ass. <laughs> oh, no, this one. I love you all. I just want to express that right now. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. So... I just flew from Toronto and boy are my arms tired. <laughs> I just flew in from Rockland and boy are my arms tired. <laughs> I just flew in from the gay bar and boy are my arms tired from jerking people off. It's a joke. It's a joke, people. Comedy and poetry. <laughs> This one's called Steal Everything. Theft is a victimless crime. The courts have determined a corporation could be a man, but a building cannot be a person. So steal from Walmart all that you can. <laughs> this one's called Ice Cubes. Man comes home eight hours after work, ten if you include his commute, pours a beverage into a glass, long, dark, strong. It takes a moment to pause, breathe deep, relax, concentrate on the moment at hand, ignoring the constant reminder of petty office bureaucracy. He takes a sip, begins to drift away. Surface calm takes him over. He opens the freezer drawer, retrieves a handful of ice, he pulls out one tray. It's empty. Second tray, empty. The strength drains from his legs. He crumbles onto the floor. He cries next to the refrigerator. The tension unbearable in his body. The tears flow out of his eyes. He doesn't understand why a man can cry over a handful of ice. Why a man can stand the weight of life and be trampled by soft paws. But he is, and he is lost beneath the tide. This one is called... Give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses, set them on fire, and burn them in a pile. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm on the verge of suicide. <laughs> I saw the worst thing. <laughs> I saw a fat woman give birth in her toilet. <laughs> And she didn't even know she was pregnant. <laughs> and it's like, how do you poop out a baby? How do you poop out a baby? Tear down the libraries and colleges! Destroy the establishments! The educated must be guillotined! We must use the bodies to power! And the world will be charred, and this cow will grow black with smoke, 
talking to the children of the children's children, and they will know no more themselves of the lowly oxen, as would Icarus, and the machinery of flesh will slip into the oil black ocean, and the echoes of man will fade from the universe, and it will be as though we had never existed at all. Thank you. Here's another one. Here's one about myself, because I'm trash. Yeah. <laughs> This one's called Savior, because I thought I used to be a good writer, but now everyone knows better. <laughs> there once was a writer of things. He enjoyed much being known as such among friends, relatives, acquaintances, and strangers, and at any given time, he would make it known subtly or not so. He was a fucking writer, and of many things he wrote, Few were published. He had claimed that he had thousands of poems, short stories, essays, and often called other writers shit. Shakespeare was total shit. And understand, he was a fucking writer. And he understood, he understood how literature had become dull, lifeless, and pretentious. He understood the importance of poetry. And he wrote many volumes, few of which were published. <laughs> He read Bukowski. He read the street poets, and he read the street poets, and he liked the street poets. But the street poets seldom understood truth and humanity. The street poets were not writers, and he wrote. He wrote in bars, cafes, and while drunk, and he knew many adjectives, and his poems knew many adjectives, and he was a writer, and he wore it like a fucking suit. <laughs> Yes, I'm, I'm a very special individual. My psychiatrist told me so. Said, listen, you're very precious, Aaron. <laughs> Jeez, how much time do I have left? All night. Well, how All much night. Time do you need? well I have to go to work sometime. <laughs> uh, who wants to hear some haikus I wrote? These are all awful. <laughs> Let's see. Which one? <laughs> oh, here's here's the best haiku I've ever written. Yeah, I know. Oh shit. shit. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> Asshole questioning doesn't know about haiku. Five seven five, bitch. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> thank you, thank you for encouraging me. You should all be ashamed of yourselves. It's this one. <clears throat> oh, here we go. So I think this might be the last one. I think it might be. <laughs> yeah! I wrote, yeah! This, I wrote this one for a zine called Cum Skull, and uh, I don't think anyone's gonna read it. <laughs> Do we have anyone here from the internet? Anyone? Anyone? No? Okay. I'm very big on the internet. Love the internet, it's full of porn. No? No? Am I the only one in this house who masturbates? Jesus. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Yeah, yeah. Th thank you, people that I can barely see. <laughs> Listen, they were broken during a sex incident, okay? So, uh, yeah, yeah.